This year's Lifetime Achievement Award goes to the gaffer, Sir Bobby Robson. Bobby, they love you. Uh, some wonderful memories and so many familiar faces to share them with you tonight. Uh, but one very special person is missing. Uh, to present Sir Bobby with his award, please welcome Sir Alex Ferguson. I know you'd like to pay your own personal tribute to Sir Bobby. Well, I'm glad I'm giving an honour, an honour to someone older than me. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, achievements are, well, the reception is received tonight tells you everything. But to retain that enthusiasm and love for the game for as long as he has, it's an amazing achievement. It's, it's a miracle. Fantastic man, fantastic person, and one of the greatest ambassadors we've had in our game. Absolutely. Thank you, Sir Alex. Pleasure. Bobby, I know you want to say a few words. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm absolutely delighted to be here to receive this prestigious award. It's a terrific honour. I'm totally flattered. It's a privilege. It's an honour that I respect, I'm grateful to you, and thank you very much. I was completely unaware that Sir Alex was here tonight to present this to me, so it makes the evening even more thrilling and staggering, and I'm grateful to Sir Alex for coming like he did. You know... You know, nobody wins uh, everything on his own. Even Tiger Woods has a caddy. And this award really is an extension and an opportunity for me to say thank you very much to uh, everybody that has supported me, that everybody that I've played with, everybody that I've managed, have had a fabulous career. I've played with and managed some of the greatest players in the world, of that there is no doubt. 
I remember my Fulham days, my West Bromwich days, my England days. I remember uh, particularly Ipswich Town where I went as a first manager. Some of the players are here. I know that. I think Roger. Tell me, Roger, are you here? Well, Mickey Mills is here, the captain. So I had a great time at Ipswich. <laughs> and, uh, you know, and I went to Barcelona and so forth. But without the players, without the people that worked for me and that I inherited, I wouldn't be here tonight. I worked with some fantastic chairmen. I always had around me a great coaching, a great technical staff, a great medical staff, a great scouting staff. I didn't suffer fools. This is for them, of course. I'd like to thank my mother and father. My mother brought me into this world. My father brought me to football. I think my father brought me into the world as well. But he would have loved this tonight. If he'd been alive, he would have been there in the front row. He wouldn't have come by car. He wouldn't have come by train. He would have somersaulted all the way from Durham here. And I tell you this, it would have taken him about 16 and a half minutes. I'd like to thank my wife, Elsie, who stuck, me with, stuck with me for about 52 years. I thank her for her loyalty, her support, her patience, her understanding. Uh, without her, I wouldn't be what I am. It's <laughs> and so it's been an absolute joy for me to have worked in association football all these years, more than 50 years, and to have met and to have played with and to have worked with all these fantastic international footballers. I would like to mention them all by name, but it would take me 17 and a half years to do it. <laughs> I've got that time, but you haven't. <laughs> so it just remains for me to say thank you, Gary. Thank you, Sir Alex. Thank you to the BBC for this magnificent presentation and for giving me one of the greatest evenings of my life. Thank you very much indeed.